baby poop. This is what new parents want to know about. They want to know what's normal, what's bad, when do you have to call the pediatrician, and what's going on. So I'm going to explain to you everything you need to know about your baby's poop. So let's start from day one. When your baby is first born, they have their first stool, which is called meconium. You might have heard this word used in the hospital. But basically, after your baby is born, meconium is the first poop they have, and it looks super weird, which is why we kind of make a big deal out of it. We have to make sure the parents know what's coming. So the first poop, meconium, is this black, sticky, tarry, weird substance. It doesn't really look or smell like poop. So there's really only a few things you need to know about meconium. First, we want to see your baby pass their first poop or meconium within 48 hours. Usually most hospitals like to see it within 24 hours and definitely before you go home. The second thing is it's kind of a one-time event. Once they pass their first meconium, you might have one or two more that are kind of that tarry stuff, but then it starts to transition. And that's usually within the first three days of life. What is meconium? It's actually swallowed amniotic fluid, intestinal cells, a little mucus, a little bile, a little water, it's just all mixed up in there. If your baby is still passing a dark black stool after the first few days of life, you're going to want to let your pediatrician know. The next type of poop that you're going to see is a yellow mustardy seedy poop. This typically starts showing up in the first week of life, especially if your baby is breastfed. Formula fed babies can have it too, though. And this poop is unique because it really freaks parents out. If you look closely at these poops, you can see tiny little seeds. They look like seeds in the poop. The reason it looks like this with the seedy appearance is because that's just kind of the way that it gets digested in their stomachs. The other weird thing about this poop is it doesn't really smell like it's not a poop smell. It's more of like a sweet smelling smell, but not sweet in the way that like cookies baking smell. It's just not a poop smell. So while formula fed babies can have that seedy yellowish looking poop like breastfed babies, they're more likely to have a thicker, pastier substance of poop. The consistency is similar to like hummus. The color of this formula fed pasty poop can be tan, it can be yellowish, it can be a little bit greenish too. Formula fed babies tend to poop a little less often than breastfed babies. Breastfed babies, it's very common to see a poop diaper after each feeding. Formula fed babies, you might just have one poop a day, but it definitely depends on the baby. One thing you want to note about all types of babies, whether they're formula fed or breastfed, is there might be days when they don't have a poop diaper at all. And this can also be alarming to parents. But don't worry, as long as the baby is eating normally, their stomach does not look distended, and they're not acting super irritable or fussy, of watch and wait up to a week. You might want to call your pediatrician around the four to five day mark and see if they have any constipation remedies, because usually it's a simple fix. Green poop. If you see green poop, most of the time, this is normal. Formula fed and breastfed babies can both have a type of green poop. Most of the time, this is from the introduction of an iron supplement or iron fortified formula. If it's from the iron, it's going to have more of a dark green appearance. Another cause for green poop is if your baby is starting solids, you're going to start to see some color changes as well as some consistency changes. And the colors can be anywhere from green, orange, yellow. It can be all over the place. A different kind of green that you might see in a breastfed baby is bright green and kind of frothy, bubbly. This can happen if your baby is breastfeeding kind of rapidly from one side to the other, meaning they're not fully draining one side before switching to the other. They're getting more of the lower fat milk than the full fat milk, which comes at the end. So just a heads up, pooping patterns and frequency, meaning how often they go per day, starts to change usually around two to three months. And many parents are concerned if they don't see a poop diaper in one day. Just know that that's normal and expected. And babies can even go up to seven days without a poop. And that can be considered normal as long as they are acting normally. Their stomach's not distended. They're not super fussy. If you're concerned about it or think your baby is acting off, then call your pediatrician, especially around maybe around the four to five day mark, and ask if they have any suggestions for constipation in a newborn. Okay, now let's get into the weird ones. White or gray. If you see a chalky white grayish poop, this can be an indication that there is a liver or gallbladder issue going on because what gives poop this brownish greenish color is the production of bile. If that part of the body is not working, 
then you're going to see a chalky white or gray stool, and that definitely needs to be brought to your pediatrician's attention. Red in your baby's poop. If you see streaks of red in your baby's poop, this could be blood, and you definitely want to call your pediatrician. Sometimes you might see a small amount of red blood in the baby's poop if they've been constipated and had to strain. But regardless, you're going to want to let your pediatrician know about blood in the stool. On that same note, if the baby's poop has a very dark, almost black appearance, this could also be blood. So you'll want to let your pediatrician know about that as well. Mucus. There might be times that you see some strings of mucus in the baby's poop. Many times this is normal, especially in breastfed babies. However, if you're seeing a lot of mucus in your baby's poop and it's happening often, this can be an indication that they have some sort of food allergy or other allergy or virus going on. So that would be something you'd want to talk to about with your pediatrician. There could be times that you notice that your baby's poop is super hard and pebble-like. If that's happening, it's a pretty clear sign that they are constipated. Sometimes that happens if the digestive tract just absorbs too much water, but it can also happen from dehydration, food allergy or sensitivity, or sometimes in rare cases, other conditions. So it's a good idea to let your pediatrician know. A lot of times there's a simple fix for constipation in babies. And the last poop we need to be aware of is diarrhea. This one is tricky for parents. The reason is, remember we talked about breastfed poop and how it's like a loose, liquidy stool? Because of that, it can be harder to determine if your baby actually has diarrhea. Diarrhea in babies is most likely caused by an illness, so it's definitely something you want to be aware of, especially because babies can get dehydrated very quickly. They lose water quickly. We consider it to be diarrhea if you're seeing very, very, very frequent very watery, very loose stools. Just like you would think of if you think of diarrhea, for a baby, it's the same thing. Usually the symptom of diarrhea is going to come along with other symptoms. Your baby's acting fussy, irritable, maybe they have a fever. So you kind of want to look at the, the whole picture. And of course, call your pediatrician. All right, guys, this concludes Poop Academy with Nurse Carly. Now you know everything there is to know about baby poop. Make sure you like and subscribe for more baby tips coming soon.